Hey guys, uh, Loan Register here, and uh, I'm just completing an installation of Windows 10. I'm going from a Windows 8.1 Pro system to Windows 10. Uh, so far, I have to say I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, it's required very little uh, configuration on my part. Um, obviously, some of the things that you do run into that you may want to be aware of before you do the upgrade is um, driver updates. So uh, all of that happened seamlessly on my part. I had Windows 8.1 uh, as of... Uh, 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock this morning, August 8th, 2015, and the upgrade uh, completed about an hour ago. So one to two hours, the upgrade was complete, downloads and everything, and uh, went pretty smoothly. Uh, I did have to reconfigure my um, uh, desktop uh, since I have a three or four monitor setup, so I had to reconfigure which screens were part of my um, uh, overall uh, virtual screen, the large, you know, large virtual screen with three monitors. Uh, nothing fancy there. Um, most of my software didn't recognize my USB devices simply because the operating system had changed positions of the USB devices. So all I had to do is go to the drop down menus and select those uh, devices, and everything was fine. Um, the Fanatic steering wheel required an update and a uh, uh, firmware update. Uh, that went very smoothly, no problem whatsoever. Um, and uh, I'm about a half an hour, 45 minutes into the install, maybe an hour into the install, and I'm not running into anything crazy. Um, I have run a session, a practice session of iRacing, um, and my frame rates, frame rates with the three monitor setup, 5760 by 1080, I think, uh, with a NVIDIA a 980 Ti, uh, 200 plus frames per second on... Um, uh, Silverstone it did not require a uh, refresh of the graphics card settings, um, and iRacing did require me to reset up the um, uh, sound system. Did the upgrade and everything was fine. Um, frame rates seem fine. Uh, desktop seems fine so far. All the applications that I uh, need to use are working fine. Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro working fine. Uh, uh, open Broadcaster software seems to be working fine. And uh, overall, um, thumbs up. The only thing I am worried about is, is that this is a push by Microsoft to move to a yearly subscription model for their um, operating systems. They don't want people sitting on their operating systems and buying them uh, every two years or every three years, which is very similar to kind of what I do right now. So they're going to accelerate their revenue stream by having people subscribe to this on a yearly basis. So that's something to be concerned about when you do upgrade. Obviously, uh, at some point, Microsoft is going to discontinue support for Windows 8, Windows 7, uh, if they haven't done so already, which is going to force you into either being on old software that's not supported, which, you know, is good and bad, uh, or move to um, Windows 10 um, as expected. So uh, just something to be, you know, concerned about uh, or thinking about when you do upgrade to Windows 10. Um, apparently, the licensing agreement goes from the day you upgrade, so for me, August 8th until August 8th, 2016, and then um, I'll probably have to pay a licensing fee um, or roll back to Windows 8.1. So overall, fairly pleased, went very smoothly, and um, games appear to be running, which is important. Um, additionally, uh, things that I use for uh, my business and work, those appear to be running as well, virtual machines, uh, uh, Explorer. Um, Chrome uh, and things like that. So just a real quick uh, video uh, letting you know how Windows 10 upgrade is going so far and unlike the upgrade that I did previously which was to the release candidate about a month ago which was a disaster. The drivers weren't up to date, couldn't get any uh, FPS out of uh, my, my games. Um, it appears to be a whole new beast and much more polished and uh, pretty simple. So uh, at this point, yeah. Uh, I'd recommend the upgrade. It seems to be uh, going just fine.